Hi everyone and welcome back to another episode of SPC BTN. Today we're going to be interviewing Mr Johnson who is sadly leaving us um, and hear about his time at the school and his career. So can you give us a bit of snapshot of your career? Uh, okay, so my career uh, started very differently. Uh, I went to university and actually studied teaching uh, in computing. Uh, and went into uh, computing teaching as well as uh, TAS and mathematics. Uh, so I did that for a few years, at which point uh, one of the uh, IT people from one of the schools I was casual teaching at uh, went on leave and I was asked if I wanted to fill in for the few weeks uh, that he was going to be on leave. Uh, that few weeks ended up turning into a year, so I stuck around doing that for a right, year. Yeah. Um, and then that finished went back to casual teaching for a bit and then a lot of weird stuff happened but basically the principal that I was with doing that at that school then moved to St Clair's in that year that I was casual teaching again and she rang me up personally when the uh, ICT person he was leaving and said um, Ben would you like to do ICT here now because I really liked you at my right. previous school and I was like yes let's go for it and that was was five and a half years ago. Oh, okay, wow. <laughs> and, so, and so now I am here now. So what's your official role here? Uh, so my official role here um, has kind of changed names over the course. Originally it was an ICT officer. Um, it is now a support and ICT officer. It, it's changed. Yeah. Couldn't even tell you. SIO. Yeah. Couldn't even You're tell you. You're all around the place. So. all over the place. Um, so yeah, so my role here is more so to keep all the keep all the technology running smoothly. So all the the, the big technology like the, the internet um, and all of that kind of stuff to keep that up and running. Uh, but also all the small technology like the projectors and the speakers in the room and some of the smaller department specific technologies like the 3D printer or the laser cutter yeah. and things like that. Okay, interesting. So you started with computer teaching, how did you become interested in this field? Uh, so I've always been interested uh, in computing and technology. Uh, when I was in high school I did a lot of the IT classes there. Uh, I then went and did a college uh, diploma and advanced diploma in software design and graphic design. Uh, so I've always been interested in computing itself and I learnt, I, I kind of fell into teaching. It's, I'm teaching on its own uh, just because I have a lot of my, my family and family friends are all in the education kind of thing right. they worked yeah. in in the office or as teachers themselves so I kind of fell into that but uh, as I was doing teaching and I do love teaching nothing against teachers uh, but I found that I more enjoyed helping people than uh, all the there's a lot of back end at teaching mm. as well, a lot of paperwork that I didn't really like. But I did find that I really enjoyed helping the students and that's when I was offered the opportunity to become basically help desk for IT. Uh, I got to do all the fun stuff that I like to do with helping students, helping teachers um, and doing all this problem solving stuff. It's the other thing that I really enjoy is solving problems. Yeah. Um, uh, it was. That's kind of where I felt this This is what I want to mm. do. So do you have any other passions or anything? So I actually have a big passion in board games, right. um, which I have tried to bring to the school a few, maybe uh, last year, just before lockdown, uh, we started a board game club. Uh, we had board games coming in uh, for recess and lunch. We had students coming in to play a variety of, um, like, tabletop board games and board games that you've probably not heard of so not just Monopoly or Scrabble but more kind of interesting ones mm -hmm. um, that, so a lot of kids um, were really really had a lot of fun with those playing games that they've not even seen before yeah. um, and I even at one point in time had a whole bunch of stuff in on it as well and really? that, was, that was really good I still actually still play board games now uh, with some of the stuff oh, okay. so that's it, that's um, that's definitely one of my What are some of your favourite board games, would you say? Oh, some of my favourite choose? board games. Uh, so I'm actually playing um, a game called Pandemic, which is... We, we were playing it before the right, okay, yeah. Pandemic. It was just really bad timing. Uh, I'm playing that at the moment uh, with Miss Steel and, uh, oh, Mr. Okay. and it's like a long-running campaign. So you kind of play... Right. Each, each 
next game is based off the previous game and okay. it tells the story as you play. Right, so it's a continuing one? Yes, that's oh, right. Oh, okay. Interesting. So what would be your highlight of being at the school? So my, definitely my biggest memory of being at this school um, is that once a year, they started, I don't know if it's still once a year, they started bringing in a, uh, a dairy farm, like a mobile dairy farm. They would bring in a cow um, and they would show the kids, this is how we get milk, this is how we make the cheese. Yeah. Um, and the first time they did it, there was a huge cow uh, in the middle of the playground, which was memorable enough. Um, but Miss McDiamond came down to have a look uh, and they dragged her over to the cow and made her try and milk the cow. And that was the funniest thing I have ever seen. <laughs> oh my god, wow. Thank you so much, Mr. Johnson. You're going to be stalling this. And it's going to be hard to replace you. Um, and thank you so much for watching this episode of STC BTN.